Well, it's a Thursday, and you know that means sports watch on the Now Morning Show. Yesterday, Trinidad and Tobago said goodbye to a very special young man. Um, Clyde Leon, a former national footballer, meant a lot to a lot, uh, meant a lot to a lot of young people, um, to his community of enterprise, and also to me. For those who know, um, my style on the morning show has always been t-shirts. Clyde Leon gave me my first t-shirt to wear on the Now Morning Show. Going through Twitter or going through um, social media yesterday to see someone that I considered a brother um, passed away was tough. And being here this morning, I would admit, talking about him in that manner is tough. But yesterday I discovered someone who's a lot stronger than I am and someone who I have a lot of respect for now. I had the experience of speaking to Clyde's mother, Sherry Ann Gill, on what she wanted her son to be remembered like. Here's my interview with Sherry Ann Gill. This is on the passing of your son. You know, how do you want your son to be remembered? To tell you, God, I just want everybody to remember him just as he was. A person that once he meets in a place, is laugh and evermore. To remember him for all the good that he have done and trying to do, he always trying to elevate himself, do better, how to do this, to make this better, to make, you know, more money. What you could do to, to you know, to get yourself from in the gutter now, boy. He always trying to see if he could help another youth from leaving this place now, boy. You know, so I want... I want people to remember him like that, you know? And then I want to clear the air on this. People going around saying that he was ailing and he had a heart attack or something. Nobody knew up to now. We don't know what he really died from. So we had to wait for the autopsy. So please, please people, stop putting up all these things on the news. Wait until they find the truth and then put it. I don't have a problem because my son was just a loving person and I know he touched all hearts. Everybody that knew him, he touched their hearts. So I know everybody grieving in some way. But just wait on the proper news and then from there we could go. You understand? Because it has been so painful for the family to be hearing these things, you know? And on top of that with the grieving my daughter now going, it's, it's going on now going to be six. So it's five and a half years. And now my son gone. All the crap with my daughter, we, we overcome that. But please don't start it afresh with my son. Let me let it go in a smoother way. You said the, something, the truth, you know, that clothes, that brand that he has. How much would you like to see that brand carry on even in Clyde Thompson? Well, I would really like to see that brand grow and grow and grow and grow because that is what he wanted. He wanted it to make the world, to go all over the world. And I would like it to, to be like that. I would try my best to keep it going. You know, but I'm with help with my brothers and them and all my family and thing. I know it would it would make it to the end. You, know. you understand? He always tried to uplift the, the youth. You know, what would you like to see come out of what he has been able to do so far in, in, in a short piece of time with us on it? Well, I, I don't know what it is he really had planned for the youths. But for me, as a mother, I would really like to see something come out for the youths. I like a program where could send your, your child it have people to teach them because you see right now is a children had to learn from a small age you see if you wait till they're big they don't pick up all the wrong things already so it's hard now to to groom them into the right perspective right so you have to try and see if you could groom them but to me i believe if you reach the mothers you will reach the children you understand? So I believe the programs that had to be set up right now to help the youths in this country is for women. Women and young girls. So once we can get them, the men will follow through because they don't want to be left behind. No man wants to be left behind from a woman. You understand? So anytime we could capture the women, we will be able to capture the children and everything else. And the life could be different. Some of the crime, it wouldn't stop crime completely, but it will help to curb the crime because a child will think twice to go and follow the wrong company if he had good things. You understand? Too many fatherless children, and then the mother ain't no much for herself. So if the mother have the strength, she will be able to teach the children. Because I grew up without a mother. I mean, without a father. And it was great. So I believe in great, and we need to go back to some of the old time days. You see the old thing where we want to drop off, we need to pick up back some. It have some that need to be, need to come back. 
it needed. We need it in this country today. I mean, thank you. Also, be a good influence to um, to to, to you know youths. the neighborhood. Yeah, you know? the neighborhood, yeah. the youths everywhere. Yeah. You know? so, so we say rest in peace to Clyde Leon. Leon. Yeah, it, it was tough, you know, because again, you. I've known him for so many years. Um, sometimes I'll get a call from Clyde, and we'll talk football. When he's in Porto Speed coming to pick up his um his mother-in-law, he will come and check me. And you know, that's my boy. You know, you feel it because you know such a young life, 37 years of course of age, and to see him go in the manner in which he did. But again, your legacy and the impact he had on the community. We'll live on. We'll live on. Yeah, man. So we say rest in peace to Clyde and condolences to his family. Condolences to you as well, Kat. Yeah, because um, I lost my uncle a week ago, so my condolences oh, no. to the, the, um, the prime family. What a time. Um, what yeah. a time. Tough yeah. two weeks. But God is good and we all can overcome. Indeed.